Hello guys and welcome to everything that was revealed during E3 yesterday. Um, so let's just get into it. So they revealed in the treehouse that you can't transfer Pokemon not found in the Galadites. And I was gonna have a video about all the Pokemon returning, so it would have been way better. But I missed some ones, and well, I don't know if they're gonna remove stones though. I really can't assume anything. So that video is pretty much dead now, and that took me 13 hours to do. So I'm not re-editing that. So sorry. And they revealed some new mons. You have Yample, it's an electric type dog Pokemon with the moves Play Rough, Spark, Crunch, and Wild Charge. It has a new ability called Bar Fetch. If your first Pokemon has failed, the Mon will go fetch it for you, so you have that Mon again, or that Pokeball again. But it only works if the Pokemon is not holding an item. Um, they also revealed something that looks really weird called Impotent. It's the first Dark and Fairy Pokemon and has the moves from the demo a Sword, Sucker Punch, and Play Rough. And the ability is unknown. You have new Mass moves with like different like second abilities. So Mass Darkness lowers the special defense stat by one. Mass Flare activates Harsh Sunlight, so you have peed on in a Mass move. Uh, Mass Geyser or Geyser activates Rain, but it's not Harsh Rain, so uh. Mass Lightning activates Electric Terrain, so that's kind of okay. Thank you, King Freak, for making that broken. Mass Overgrowth activates Grassy Terrain. Mass Rock Flow activates a Strand, uh, a Strandstorm. A sandstorm. They also revealed some gym stuff. We got a new water type gym little called Nessa, has a dreadnought, and gyms have a puzzle that you still have to complete, so it isn't just walk into the gym and grab a badge. So thank you, Game Freak, for not cutting that out of the game. The wild area changes each and every day and it's available all the game. And it has very strong Pokemon all the games. So this is pretty much Xenoblade Chronicles. Well, you're gonna be walking around and you're gonna counter a lower 80 Grookey final evolution and there's gonna be electric guitars and everything. You can whistle at the wild area, and some Pokemon might run away, but some Pokemon might chase you, and some Pokemon might just come closer. So whistling is a way for the overworld counters, like flying or overworld counters, to come at you and everything. But it, each Mon is unique, they said. So um, they revealed a new move called Branch Park, which is just a grass type move. It looks like an only grass type move, so like Leafage too. Yeah, thank you, Game Freak. There was sparkly stuff on the ground. And it is an item spot, so no Pokeballs, or might, there might be Pokeballs outside the wild area. And then you also got Raymet's battles, which is not new, but they also revealed new information, so yeah, let me just include it here. Raymet's mons can use multiple moves per turn. They can be status, so they don't have any like Lumberry active all the time. And when HP is low, I believe below half, uh, Raid mons put up a barrier to prevent damage or heavily increase their defense and special defense, so they barely take any damage. And there are five bars to defeat that barrier. And a uh, max move does two, while a regular move does one, no matter the resistances or the effectiveness of the move. Um, Dynamaxing for team um, rotate between um, everyone. So I'm guessing an AI doesn't have the ability to Dynamax, so that's great. I was worried about that. And multiple people can catch the same Mon, so you don't have, oh, only one person can defeat uh, catch the Mon or the Pokemon that let it hit zero, or the Dynamax Raid Mon hit zero can catch it and if you do fail to catch it you also get items so I'm gonna see you can get like stones and pearls and maybe some moves or not moves but um nuggets and proteins and stuff like that but yeah that's all they revealed yesterday um with the demo and everything but if you guys did enjoy well you can subscribe like I'll be covering more news even if I'm late by a day because you know no internet and well yeah but um yeah comment below that uh, what do you think about Game Freak removing half the Pokedex? And yeah, yeah, thank you, and goodbye.